Namaste yogis, welcome to day six, melt your stress away. Today is a great time to tune into more gentle yoga practice to stretch from inside out so we can feel good in our mind and body. For this practice, I would recommend to have a yoga strap or just a simple belt. Before we're gonna get started, create a loop in your belt so your foot can go through and just keep it this way near you. And when you're ready, let's begin. We will begin our practice today in seated meditation. So go ahead and find your block or a pillow or a blanket. Place underneath your sitting bones. Make yourself comfy. Wiggle side to side, rooting through our sitting bones. Rest your hands on top of your knees. Find a big smile. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, and go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Good. Now keep breathing in and out through your nose. And let's begin to bring awareness to our physical body. Just notice how you feel today. Scanning our body from our toes all the way upward to the crown of the head. And again, just notice. Begin to bring awareness to your mind. What thoughts are running today through your mind and trying to catch your attention? Just notice, don't try to fight or to change anything. Just be fully aware of what's going on right now in this moment. With your full awareness, take a deep long inhale into your nose. And as you exhale, let go of everything that doesn't serve you for this practice. <sighs> Good. Now seal your lips. Take a deep breath in, in through your nose. And repeat with me, I am safe. Exhale it out. This is our mantra for today. I am safe. Breathe in. Breathe out. I am safe. Breathe in. And out. I am safe. Fill up your belly. Fill up your lungs. Pause at the top. Exhale it out. Now keep igniting your breath, keep repeating this mantra silently to yourself or maybe out loud if that feels better for you. I am safe. Breathing in and out. Let's find one minute of complete silence, complete stillness, just listening to our breath and repeating our mantra, I am safe. As you're breathing, keep relaxing your shoulders, your face, 
maybe separate your teeth and relax your lips, your mouth. I am safe. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Let your breath lift you up. I am safe. Let's take our last breath all together. Inhale. I am safe. Fill up. Now I want you to hold your breath for five, four, three, two, one, and then release your trust to the universe. <sighs> Beautiful. Gently blink your eyes to open. Let your eyes adjust to the light again. You're welcome to stay sitting on your block or pillow or maybe just put it aside all right extend your right leg in front of you and then keeping your left knee bent wiggle side to side again make yourself comfy grounded inhale reach your arms up exhale plug the hands to your heartbeat inhale reach your arms up exhale hands to heart inhale reach your arms up really energized through the fingers exhale hands to heart inhale reach your arms up and as you exhale, we're going to bring right hand to the left knee and find a twist. Now begin to twist to your left side, lengthen out of your crown, bring the gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, try to find more length through your spine. Exhale, find a deeper twist. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go deeper with your twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, reach your arms up high. As you exhale, you're going to pivot towards your right leg. Reach the arms forward and fold. If you want to use your strap here, you can hook the strap around the foot. Open the elbows out wide and allow your body to come closer to your leg. So we want to make belly tight connection and reach the chest forward. Flex onto the right foot. Open the elbows out wide. Place your forehead to rest on your shin bone. If it's not happening, you can place your yoga block here and place your forehead on your yoga block. So find what suits you today in your practice and then surrender, close your eyes and let's keep repeating our mantra, I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. Very nice. Lift your gaze, slowly roll up. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, we're going to bring again the right hand to your left knee and then lean to the right as you're reaching your left arm to catch your right foot. Now here, you would like to use your yoga strap. You're going to hook the strap around your foot. Now lift your elbow up, up. So make sure that you're not collapsing your chest. We want to open the chest. Open the side body and extend your left arm. Bring the gaze upward. Now see how it feels this way. Maybe you can bring your hand closer towards your foot. 
keeping your left arm straight, spiraling your chest and belly all the way skyward, breathing into our side body. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, slowly come up. Reach both of your arms up. Exhale again, let's find a twist. Lengthen out of your crown. And then gaze over your left shoulder, twist. Moving one breath, one movement. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pivot to the right leg. Fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right hand, lift knee. And then go ahead and lean to the right, opening our side of body. One breath here. Inhale, come up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. Fold the right leg in and let's switch the legs. So we're going to bring the left heel, uh, right heel in and then extend through our left leg. Keeping the strap near you. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. A lot of energy. Open your heart. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, let your breath lift you. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, find a twist. Left hand to right knee. Lengthen up. And then gaze over your right shoulder and find a twist. Beautiful. Breathe in. Exhale, twist deeper. Each inhale, try to find more length through the spine. Each exhale, try to find a deeper twist. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pivot to your left leg and then begin to fold forward as you're reaching to grab something in front of you. Then bring the belly to your thigh, forehead to the shin bone. Again, you can use your yoga block here if you need. Just relax. Use your breath to open up your body, to open up the tight areas, the tight corners of your body. I am safe. I am safe. One more breath. Very nice. Slowly lift your gaze. Begin to come up. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, left hand to the right knee, and then we're going to lean to the left to stretch our right side body. See if you can touch your foot. I highly recommend to use your yoga strap. So hook the strap around your left foot. Lift your right elbow up. Then begin to spiral your chest and belly all the way skyward as you're straightening that right arm. See how it feels. Take a breath in. And out. If you feel that you have no room to go, you can bring the hand closer and closer towards your foot. Everything comes with practice. So don't try to rush the process. Just enjoy the opening of your side body. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let's take one more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly let go. Begin to make your way up. Inhale, reach your arms up. One breath, one movement. Exhale, go ahead and find a twist. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, pivot to the left leg and fold forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left hand, right knee, and go ahead and catch your strap. Stretch your side body. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist. 
inhale arms up exhale fold relax inhale reach up exhale take your stretch inhale lift up exhale hands to your heart very nice fold that left leg put the strap in front of you and then from here we will make our way into straddle forward fold so go ahead and straddle the legs as much as it accessible to you you can use your yoga block to elevate your sitting bones as you inhale reach your arms up and as you exhale you're gonna reach forward maybe bring the fingers down to the floor okay maybe this is where you at today maybe you can bring your forearms down to the floor see how it feels if you feel pretty easy pretty comfy then try to go ahead and reach the arms all the way in front of you to bring your belly down so no matter what you are where you are what matters is the sensation that you feel the opening the stretch so embrace where you at in your practice just relax breathe close your eyes and enjoy every single sensation we'll take about three to five breaths here i am safe Slowly begin to lift yourself back up, shake out your legs, and then let's bring them together into Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. So grounding our sitting bones, fine long spine, shoulders over hips, flex your feet, inhale, reach your arms up, and as you exhale, hinge forward fold. Now again, you can use your yoga strap to hook the strap behind your feet, find more length in your spine open the elbows and allow yourself to fold a little bit deeper if you can catch your feet catch your feet if you want that one to go a little bit deeper than that so place a block behind your feet and grab the block now i'm in the stage where my belly not allow me to fall anymore so again feel your body and respect how deep you can go and enjoy wherever you are take a breath in and a breath out good slowly roll up back to sit it cross your ankles bring the hands in front of you and then step into tabletop position hips over your knees shoulders over your wrists let's take a few cat cows here inhale drop your belly lift the gaze up roll the shoulder heads backward exhale cat pose curl the tailbone under chin to your chest and then round your upper back inhale cow pose exhale cat inhale cow exhale cat now close your eyes and see if you can want to add any other organic movement maybe just swing your hip side to side maybe bringing hip to shoulder maybe finding a few circles just let your body explore what feels good using the breath to take you through your movements one more breath come back into neutral spine sink your hips to your heels bring the right arm back behind you as you inhale you're gonna sweep your left arm across your face lift your hips drop the gaze back and then exhale sink 
inhale right arm across your face lift the hips forward lift your heart drop the gaze backward exhale sink and then let's begin to move one breath one movement inhale exhale pushing the hips forward lifting through your heart inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale beautiful three more on each side inhale exhale see if you can go a little deeper inhale exhale breathe in and out in and out one more on each side inhale inhale beautiful sink down take a breath in let go of something good make your way back into tabletop keeping our hips over your knees poppy pose walk your arms forward drop the chest down see if you can bring your chin down to the mat if not bring your forehead down to the mat relax your upper shoulders and allow your breath to take you into the pose just breathe full breath in full breath out inhale fully exhale completely good slowly push the earth away make your way back up into tabletop position as you inhale we're going to sweep the right arm up to the sky exhale thread the needle right arm underneath your left drop to the shoulder extend the left arm in front of you you may stay here if that's enough or you will try to extend that left leg straight bring the gaze underneath your left armpit maybe your left arm gonna come all the way back behind you and you're gonna find a twist breathe in breathe out slowly make your way back to center push the earth away and we will take it to the other side inhale left arm up exhale thread the needle lower your left shoulder down extend the right arm forward see how it feels you feel you can go deeper extend through the right leg notice how you feel here if there is more room to go maybe right arm comes behind you to a bind or reaching all the way back now my left shoulder way tighter than my right so I gonna find here a bind take a breath in and out slowly let go bring the right knee down if it's not there push the earth away and make your way back up into tabletop position from our tabletop position begin to shift the weight to the right to your right hand and right knee and extend your left leg ground through the outer edge of your left foot inhale sweep your left arm across your ear line a lot of energy through your fingers gaze underneath your armpit now keep grounding the outer edge of your foot firmly into the earth and then reaching your fingers closer and closer to the earth feel that nice divine side body stretch take a deep breath in deep breath out inhale lift your left arm lift your left leg kick the left heel to your bum reach the arm back behind you grab your ankle into denser variation you're gonna kick that heel back behind you cast your heart forward lift your gaze up find a back bend take a breath in 
and a breath out. Inhale, release, extend. Exhale, ground your left hand and left knee down. Moving to the other side, shift the weight to the left. Ground down your right foot, extend through the leg. Push the outer edge of your right foot to the earth. Inhale, sweep your right arm across your ear line. A lot of energy in your fingers. Grounding the outer edge firmly into the earth, reaching the right fingers closer and closer to the mat. Gaze upward. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, right arm up, right leg up. Kick the heel to your bum and grab your ankle. Now keep kicking the heel back behind you as you're reaching your heart forward, bringing the gaze up, finding that nice arch in your lower back. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, extend, exhale, hand and knee down, beautiful, ground your hand, hands, stand back into plank pose, shoulders over hands, slowly hinge forward and then lower all the way down to your belly, good job, ground your hands, rather your forearms, so make sure that your elbows underneath your shoulders, bringing the chest through the upper arms, relax your glutes, relax your legs, relax your shoulders and your face. Close your eyes, soften, again inhale, exhale, let's come back to our mantra, I am safe. I am safe. One more breath. I am safe. Blink your eyes to open. Ground your heels of your hand to the mat and begin slowly to lift your elbows up coming into a high cobra. If it's too much, you can bend your elbows. Make sure that your shoulder is not coming up to the ear. So you're gonna push away as you lifting your heart relax the glutes so we want to bring all the stress of the pose into our lower back when you're squeezing your glutes you're taking it away so relax and breathe inhale exhale you should feel it in your lower back in your mid back Full breath in, full breath out. Beautiful, slowly place the elbows back down and then bring your chin down to the mat and I want you to bring your fingertips outside of your mat. As you inhale, we're gonna straighten the arm, lift as high as you can. Exhale, you're gonna twist and drop your right shoulder down. Inhale, press through the fingers, lift up, straighten the arms. Exhale, twist, drop your left shoulder down. Let's do four more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Twist, breathe out. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more on each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, beautiful, inhale, lift. I want you to ground your hands here and just hold for a few breaths. Maybe a little bit wiggle, sway side to side. Full breath in, full breath out. 
beautiful tuck your toes under begin to lift your hips send the hips towards your heels and we're gonna make our way into child's pose big toes to touch knees out wide arms in front of you place your forehead to rest on your mat enjoy the gentle stretch of your skin and the lower back feels so good right now after all these back bends Begin to lift your gaze, make your way to all fours, tabletop, tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. First downward facing dog for this practice. Make it yours. Just find any movement that feels good. Look at your feet, make sure your feet are hip distance apart, your arms are shoulder distance apart. Bend the knees to find more length through the spine. And just wiggle side to side as you're bending one knee, then the other knee. Very nice. Find stillness. Take a breath in and out. Come high to your toes. Ripple forward. Plank pose. Keep hinging forward. We're going to lower halfway into Chaturanga. Try to pause for a moment. Drop to your knees if you need. Inhale. Press into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Let's drop the left knee down. Place the hands on top of your right knee, push the right knee forward, sink your hips forward. Next inhale, Anjanayasana, crescent moon. Reach the arms up, look up, keep sinking down and forward. Good, let's interlock all 10 fingers, release our index into Kali Mudra. Reach the arms back behind you, drop your gaze, keep sinking forward. Inhale, exhale. Slowly bring the arms up, lift your head, sprinkle the fingers down, half split, send the hips to the back, flex your right foot towards you and then reach the arms forward and fold. Just breathe. Very nice. From here, lift the gaze, rebend into the right leg. Lift your left knee and step the foot slightly in. Pyramid pose. Use your yoga block if you need here. Square off the hips. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward. A lot of length in your spine. Inhale and exhale. Bow over your right leg. Just relax. Connect to the sensation. If you want to deepen your sensations, you can lift your toes and flex your right foot towards you to find more opening in the back of your right leg. One more breath. Inhale, let's find halfway to lengthen. Ground your left hand inside the right foot. Inhale, let's find a twist. You're gonna lift your right arm up. Keep drawing the right hip back, squaring through the hips. Nice, maybe half bind, reach that right arm back behind you. Rotating the right shoulder skyward, breathe in and out inhale right arm up exhale bring the right hand inside your right foot adjust your left foot so your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat inhale trikonasana triangle pose 
extend your left arm up. Tuck your tailbone, lengthen out of your waist. Breathe in. Breathe out. Reach the left arm all the way back behind you. Inhale, come up to your arms. As you exhale, you're going to bend your left knee and squat down into Skandasana. We're moving very slow today. Enjoying every single sip of our breath. You can bring the, the arms in front of you, tuck the chin to your chest, or maybe open through the arms and find a bind. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale, let's bring the hands to the heart. Use your core to lift your sitting bones up. Pivot both of your feet parallel to each other and go ahead and fold forward into straddle forward fold. A few options here. Option one, hands in between your feet. Option two, grab your big toes with your pace fingers. Option three, grab behind your heels. So whatever feels good for you today, Try to bring more weight to the balls of your feet and reaching the crown of your head down towards the earth. Again, just relaxing, tuning inward, following our breath. One more full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, pivot to the front. We're bending to the right knee and then walk your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Drop your left knee down, lizard lunge. Begin to explore here as you swing side to side. You can stay with your arms straight to go deeper. Come down to your forearms, maybe forearms onto a block. To go even more deeper, roll to the outer edge of your right foot and allow your knee to open up. Noticing the sensations in our hips. You can stay on your forearms or come back to straight arms. Inhale, lift your right arm up, find a twist. Exhale, kick your left heel to your glute and reach the arm back behind you to catch your foot. If that's not happening today, use here your strap to hook the foot and then find this variation. Now, if you can hold your foot with the strap or without the strap, try to bring the heel to your bum so you can very generously stretch your quad. Inhale, open, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze and hold. Three, two, one. Slowly let go. Beautiful, come back to the straight arms. Walk your right foot in between the hands. Step back and let's take a vinyasa high to low plank. <sighs> Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift heel up high, single leg, down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Drop your right knee down. Both hands on top of your left knee. Push that knee forward. Sink your hips down and forward. Inhale, reach your arms up. Anjaneyasana, crescent moon. Drop the gaze behind you. Relax your shoulders. Begin to interlock alternate fingers. Release your index, Kali Mudra. Squeeze the heels of your hand. 
drop the gaze more back and begin to reach your fingers back behind you to find a back bend. Two more breaths. Slowly lift up, lift your gaze, bring your fingers down to the floor. Inhale, exhale, half split, straighten that left leg, flex your foot. Square the hips, walk the hands forward, take a breath in, exhale, fold. Just breathe. One more full cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the gaze. Rebend into the left knee. Tuck your right toes under. Straighten the leg and slightly step the foot in pyramid pose inhale find your square hips find length in your spine maybe walk the hands forward and then bow just breathe again allow your breath to lift you up inhale Exhale. Two more breaths here. With your gaze, ground your right hand inside your left foot. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and find a twist. If it's a little bit challenging, use your yoga block underneath your right hand. Reach up through your fingers. Keep bringing your left hip back, right hip forward, keeping our hips nice and square. Inhale. Exhale. Good, bring the gaze down. Place your left hand inside your left foot. Let's adjust our right foot so it will be parallel to the back of your mat. Inhale, sweep your right arm up and open up into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. Again, tuck the tailbone, lengthen up. Take a breath in. And out. One more breath. On the inhale, reach the right arm back behind you. Make your way up to standing to your arms. And as you exhale, bend into the right knee. Squat down into Ninja Squats Kandasana. Again, choose your variation here. Take exactly the same as you did in the other side. Maybe chin to chest, arms in front of you. Or you're going to open your wings. Or maybe find a bind. Just breathe. Allow yourself to relax and trust that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Full breath in, full breath out. Slowly let go. Inhale, lift the sitting ones up, come up to standing. Bring the feet parallel to each other. Reach the arms back behind you. Interlock all ten fingers. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, hinge from your hips. And then fold forward. Let your knuckles to take you deeper into that shoulder stretch. Try to squeeze the heels of your hands towards each other. Relax your head and neck.
full breath in, full breath out. Very nice, slowly release your grip, sprinkle the fingers down to the earth, inhale halfway, find length, exhale, pivot to the front into a low lunge, bend into your left knee. Walk your left foot to the outer edge of your mat, drop the right knee down, lizard lunge. Before you go any deeper, just take a moment here to notice how you feel, explore a little movement. And when you feel ready to go deeper, come down to your forearms or stay as you are if that's enough. Close your eyes, come back to your mantra, I am safe. I am safe. I'm safe. You need more sensation. Come to the outer edge of your left foot. Allow your knee to open up. Good. You can stay in your forearms or come back to a straight arms. Ground your right hand or right forearm, inhale, left arm up, exhale, kick your right heel to the glute and then go ahead and catch your foot. Again, I encourage you to use your strap here if you need. Take a breath in and as you exhale, we're going to squeeze that right heel to the glute. Inhale, open, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze, and then hold for three, two, smile, enjoy it, and one. Slowly release. Beautiful. Bring your left hand down, right hand down. Walk your left foot in between your hands. Tuck the right toes under. Step back, high plank. Hinge forward, lower halfway, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, sweep your right heel up high, single leg down dog. Bend the knee and open the hip. Our hips are pretty open, our back is warmed very well. So begin to reach the toes back behind you and gracefully flip your dog. Lift your hips, lift your heart. Drop the gaze, palm facing down, inhale, exhale, look down, ground your hand, inhale, sweep your right heel up high, single leg, down dog, exhale, knee to your left tricep, extend the leg, falling triangle, shift the weight to the right arm, inhale, lift, arm comes up, open, Breathe in and out. Good. Ground your left hand. Now from here, I want you to drop your right knee down. So funky pigeon pose. Now I want you to stay here in this position. Flex onto the right foot. Roll onto your left hip and then fold forward. So a little bit different variation of pigeon pose. Notice how it feels. Find a little movement, sway side to side. Maybe bring your forehead down to your mat. Just relax, surrender and breathe. Begin to lift your gaze up, straighten the arms, sweep that left leg all the way around you and put your foot down. Root down through your sitting bones, inhale right arm up, exhale find a twist. Lengthen up, gaze over your left shoulder, 
maybe connect your index and your thumb into a mudra. Maybe even take a little ohm, you know, to find that vibration in your throat and chest. Om. Very nice. And twist. We're gonna sweep that left leg again back behind you. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the sky. Shake out the leg and let's take three-legged vinyasa. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift heel up high. Single leg down dog. Bend your knee, open the hip and gracefully begin to flip your dog, lift his all the way behind you, hips up, chest up, drop the gaze, flip your palm, inhale, exhale, look down, ground your left hand down, inhale, sweep your left heel up high, single leg, down dog, exhale, knee to your right tricep, Extend your leg, shift the weight to your left arm, inhale, right arm comes up, falling triangle pose. Hips higher, drop the gaze, find smile, inhale, exhale, right hand comes down. From here, you're gonna drop your left knee behind your right wrist into pigeon pose. Flex onto your left foot, Roll onto your right hip. Wiggle here side to side. Take a moment to notice how you feel. And then when you feel ready, come down to your forearms, forehead to your mat and just surrender. safe I am safe I am safe take a breath in and out come back to straight arms let's sweep the right leg all the way around ground the heel root your sitting bones inhale lift arm up exhale find a twist Gaze over your right shoulder. Again, maybe connect your index and your thumb into a mudra. And if you want to join me for another OM to find that joyful vibration in our throat and chest, you're welcome. Inhale. And OM. OM. Take a breath in, open mouth, very nice, slowly untwist, we can sweep the right leg all the way back behind you, tuck the toes under, inhale, sweep your left heel up to the sky, single leg down dog, and then let's take three-legged vinyasa, hinge forward, three-legged plank, lower halfway, chaturanga, upward facing, inhale, and then downward facing, exhale. Bring the gaze forward, walk your feet in between your hands, bend your knees, and then have a seat. We will make our way onto our backs, into a bridge pose. Feet hip distance apart, touch your heels. And as you inhale, we're gonna lift the hips up, shimmy, shimmy the shoulders closer toward each other. Again, I want you to relax your glutes, lift your hips higher. Chin away from your chest and breathe. And I have a moment here. I feel a movement of my baby, 
which is not happening a lot. <laughs> and that's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And this stage is still hard to, to feel any movement, and I feel it right now. You're welcome to stay in bridge pose if you feel you want to go a little bit deeper. Maybe take it into a wheel. Again, our back is warmed enough. So ground the hands in line with your ears. Fingers point towards your shoulders. As you inhale, you're going to push through the feet and your hands. Come halfway to your crown. Then use the strength of your arms to straighten the arms. And try to bring your chest forward. And just breathe. And if you feel you can go even deeper, so you're going to come high to your toes. Walk your hands closer towards your feet and then lower the heels down and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bridge pose or wheel pose. Slowly begin to lower down one vertebra at a time. Very nice. Hug the knees into your chest, a little bit sway, side to side, grab the other edges of your feet, happy baby pose, and just massage your back. We'll take here another twist to neutralize our back from the back bend. So both knees to your chest. Drop them to the right as you're bringing the gaze to your left shoulder. Maintaining both of your shoulders on your mat. Take a breath in. A breath out. Knees back to chest. Let's drop them to your left. Gaze to the right. Full breath in, full breath out, knees back to chest, sway side to side. If there is any last pose that you would like to take, shoulder stand, plow pose, feel free to play with that. Or join me for a Shavasana as you're bringing the heels to the corners of your mat, arms open wide, palms facing upward for our final relaxation. Making the natural flow of the breath take over and you just silently repeating your mantra, I am safe, I am safe, I am safe. Feel the rise and the fall of your belly and chest with each cycle of breath. Let your breath lift you up.
Feel free to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need to. To wake up, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers. Reach the arms overhead for a nice full body stretch. Knees to chest. Rock and roll back and forward, back and forward. And let's make our way into a comfortable seat. Plug the hands to your heart. Fill up with gratitude for being safe, healthy, for creating time to show up for yourself. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your gratitude to the universe. Sometimes we are tested not to show our weaknesses, but to discover our strengths. Take that in. Sometimes we are tested not to show our weaknesses, but to discover our strengths. Let's plug our thumbs to the third eye, center of our intuition, connecting the head with the heart. Thank you so much, yogis, for tuning in today, for sharing your beautiful energy with me, with the world. I wish you a beautiful, blissful the rest of your day. From my heart to yours, I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you, my friends. I guess I'll see you tomorrow for day seven. Can you believe that tomorrow it's already day seven? So tomorrow we're gonna mark one week on the mat. How excited. Bye-bye.